following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome in to another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I'm your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day to give my little video a watch and a listen. If you like it, like it. If you think other people are going to dig it, give it a share. Don't forget to hit that notification button. That way you know when we're doing our live streams on Wednesdays and Saturdays. If there is a band, song, video, something you want me to check out, the best place to get me your suggestion is over at the Discord server. Everything is linked down below to be a member of the Wild Side, from joining the Concurpas to working at Concurpas Rest to being a Patreon member. Everything is linked down below. Before we get started today, thank you to Connect 200 Music to See and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Today's video is coming from Jorg. He has suggested that I check out a band I've done videos for before, previously, The Who, uh, The Who, the H-U, not the W-H-O. So today we're back with The Who, and we're checking out a track called Sugan Esena. And this is a song, I believe, and again, I'm, I'm relying on all of you to be my music Sherpas. Let me know down below with everything I need to know about it. But from what I'm told, this song is for the video game Jedi Fallen Order. I think my son plays that. And uh, the song was written and recorded in the language of the game. So that's pretty interesting. It's very cool. So today we're going to check out Sugan. I hope I'm saying that right. Sugan Asina. And it is The Who from Jedi Fallen Warrior. Let's check it out on the wild side. I hope I'm able to publish this video. We'll see.
so I don't know anything about the game, the lore, the canon, or anything like that, but if you are a fan of Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Order, play the game, all that, and that's not good enough for you, or that's not the awesomest song in your game, I don't know what to tell you. This song reminds me of, and and it doesn't remind me in terms of comparing songs. I'm saying about using it effectively in a video game. A song like this is as impactful to a good video game the same way Jose Gonzalez Far Away was for entering into Mexico during Red Dead Redemption. Now, nothing will ever match the impact that Jose Gonzalez had with that track at that moment. This song right here should be that for this game. It builds well. It's layered perfectly. It's a, it's a fantastic blend of traditional Mongolian folk music, and there are tinges of, you know, this is why nobody can claim culture, because you're hearing a mouth harp. You're hearing a mouth harp. It's known by other names that I don't say in recordings or in mixed company, but there it's a mouth harp. Normally, you would associate that that layer of sound because I hear I hear everything in layers. So my brain kind of strips layers apart, identifies them, and then puts them back together in that order. So and then I assign colors to them. So the mouth harp is traditionally associated with American bluegrass and country music. But what I find to be so enormously warming to my soul is that when you hear the same layer, the same mouth harp layer in Mongolian, uh, it's folk rock. It's Mongolian folk rock is what it is. And it's done very well. And you can tell it's done well because it flows. When I say well-layered, this is a very well-layered, well-constructed, well-built song. Nothing stays in one spot for too long. You never feel wanting or waiting. I don't understand anything they're saying because, again... From what I understand, this is written and recorded in a language of the game, which is in and of itself an incredibly unique talent to be able to do that. To be able to speak one language and then take another language. I know all languages are made up. I know that. What I'm saying is this is a language from a Star Wars video game, and they've recorded a whole song in that style. That's an incredible talent. Not only is it an incredible talent to just record the song, write the song in that language, but to create a mood that fits perfectly is another level of talent. So again, the, I've, I, I did the video where Jacoby Shaddix, I've done a video of just them. It's a very talented band. And when I brought up the mouth harp and warming of my soul, what it means is there are some melodies, there are some tones, there are some colors that you hear that are universal. They're universal sounds. They're universal tones. They may be used differently. They may be layered differently in a bluegrass song than they are in a Mongolian rock song. But that familial tone, that familiar tone, sorry, the familiar tone, is there. So you gravitate to it. And something I do want to point out, first and foremost, I love the Shamison. Um, I, I think it's a it's a for a two stringed instrument, it is it so the first time I'd really heard a Shamison being used in rock in the darker, more rhythmic tones was the Wagaki band. And then when I heard the Who, I'm like, yeah, dude, that's how you use a Shamison in metal. I think it for having two strings it is so varying 
and how you can create its layer. And I noticed that he was using a bow instead of, I call it the spatula. I know it's not, and I'm so sorry. I know it's not a spatula, but that's what it looks like. Um, the female from Ogaki band, it looked like she was using a, uh, a paint scraper is what I called it. So again, that's why I rely on you. Let me know down below with all of the technical things I get wrong, but to hear him use that bow, it, I don't, I'm not likening him to Jimmy Page in any way, shape or form, but when Jimmy Page did that, he was taking a traditional instrument used to being heard a specific way and then creating a smoothness to how the instrument is manipulated. So instead of a pick and it picking, there's there's more of an elegant flow to the to that layer. So very well done. And something else I wanted to point out too is you can see, like if you pay attention, you can see how they manipulate their their vocals. You can see it. You can see how he uses his tongue in his mouth to create the vocal. And I know that a lot of people mistake, you know, Mongolian throat singing. It's not. It is, but it isn't. Because the throat, you don't want to use as your instrument. The throat is just a passageway. There are other ways to control and shape sounds that won't create danger to your vocal cords. So his control, is, their control is perfect. It's just perfect control. But they've been doing this probably their lives is how they would say it. They would tell you, I've been doing this my whole life. So it's a very natural delivery of that exchange of notes and melodies within that unexpected or unfamiliar to me transmission of melody, if that makes sense. So I can hear how he is shaping these melodies. I can hear how they create the fluctuations in their deliveries. You can see it. And I think it's brilliant. I, I, I think those guys are awesome. Um, no wonder they were asked to, to cut a track for a major video game. And I think that, that that type of song, how it's layered, how it's paced, if used properly in the game, super effective. It, 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 could, it could be one of those um, maximum overdrive moments where the song eclipses the game kind of a thing as far as impact to the audience because you're so immersed in the game so if used properly a song like that that allows you to breathe with it it allows you to explore with it if placed properly in the game bro that that's that's stuff people talk about so i'll never forget going into mexico and red dead and looking at my wife and saying that changed video games forever right there the use of it when it was used how it was used how perfectly it fit the game changer and a song like this could be a game changer so again thank you very much to yorg for the suggestion that is the who with sugan asena asena that's why i'm relying on you guys let me know down below i'm <clears throat> i shock a lot of people when i tell them as gen x i've seen one Star Wars, I've seen, when I was younger, I saw one. And then since having kids, I've seen a couple. But I, this wasn't a part of my world growing up. So I am very unfamiliar. I'm very ignorant to Star Wars and Star Trek and all of that stuff. So I had other stuff going on. Um, so I, I rely on you guys to let me know down below with everything I need to know about the song, about the game, about the canon, the lore. Fill me in. And don't forget, if there's a song, band, video, something you want me to check out like Yorg, head over to the Discord server. Right there on the left-hand side, YouTube reaction requests. Drop it in there. I try to go through a couple times a week and bang out videos, uh, group them together, and try to get them knocked out. So go in, read the rules, because we have rules. It's not just chaos. Go in, read the rules, drop your suggestion over on the Discord server. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel and you hit that notification button and you hit the like button to help out the algorithm. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to see an Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Thank you to all of you for taking time out of your day to watch my video. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this is The Wild Side. <laughs>